Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Ultima Macross Gacha video. I apologize that the video came out rather late, well, mainly because I've been busy with uh, serving my nation uh, as the government has called me back to help you know, out with events that has been going on within my country. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you probably know I was involved with the Formula One event in Singapore. So yeah, so finally we are here to talk about Kaname's brand new gacha and we're gonna take a look at the gacha plate or the episode plate itself and see whether um, should you put your money into Kaname's gacha uh, as of it's still available at this time of time or maybe should you come back to it again if it ever resurfaces as a reissue gacha uh, because you have run out of singing stones at this point of time. So yeah, let's take a look at the episode plate. First off, we see that it doesn't come with any special notes attached to the episode plate, which is kind of a bummer. Then of course, pay attention to the other three divas uh, equipable with this episode plate, because maybe those other three divas could be your main, and maybe because this episode plate could be useful uh, among your current collection of episode plates. So let's look at the stats. 3857, immediately Kaname's episode plate reaches top tier total stats on the episode plate. But sadly to say, because of the lack of the special note, it doesn't get its tier 1 placing, maybe a uh, 2.5. <laughs> yeah, so that's that how I grade my episode plates in theory. So Kaname's episode plate is pretty well balanced all around. Uh, center skill A rank. So immediately we can tell Kanami's plate is not meant to be used as a center position episode plate. But maybe as a live skill support, it could have some awesome skills for high score purposes. So center skill total up. Units total is boosted by 20%. So not the best percentage out there, but anyways, we already know that it's meant to be used as a live skill support. Here we go. Active skill, S rank, not too bad. So Kaname split can be used for mission clearing as well. And maybe practicing for those extremely difficult difficulties that you can't handle uh, on normal basis. So for 20 seconds, well, you will have easier time tapping notes. So not too bad. Alright, so life skill, S rank, score and damage. So immediately Kaname's episode plate has the best high score life skill support. So where does this place Kaname's plate? Well, uh, aside from it being an awesome stat plate, uh, it has an awesome skill, it definitely deserves the 2.5 position. Um, then of course, it's just slightly below tier 1 which is the highest ranking for me. Uh, so basically, if Kaname's episode plate falls into your arsenal uh, because of your first discounted 300 stone pool. Congratulations to you! But if you don't have enough singing stones for it now, make sure you save up for it. Maybe it'll come back next year when um, a returning event with Gorgeous comes around again. Maybe releasing Reina's Gorgeous costume and Freya's Gorgeous costume. Definitely. Um, the older gorgeous costumes will return in uh, reissuing gacha. Maybe that's when you can uh, stand a chance to obtain Kaname's awesome episode plate again. So guys, for this current gacha, I will only do a single template pool, which is the discounted one. And that's it. I mean, I have a, a pictorial episode plate. Um, those that do not give you stats to use for uh, equipping on your diva. I already gotten a copy of it through, well, the luck of draw from playing lives. <laughs> so uh, I already gotten costume points for Kaname's costume to be able to unlock it via episode ops. Um, the most expensive way to unlock the costume, but I probably won't do it because episode ops are precious as we all know. So hopefully, I don't know, I, I just wish for a single copy of Kaname's plate because I definitely would love to uh, have at least a powerful 
love element, pink element, whichever one you call it by, um, within my collection because the only <laughs> color uh, plates that I have that is good to do high score is all belonging to the Soul or Inochi basically the blue element episode plates so I'm still lacking within the pink and yellow to do a pretty decent high score uh, for myself so yeah definitely a plate I would want to obtain here we go guys one single template pool for Kaname's episode plate so most of you guys who follow me on my Facebook page or you know on YouTube channel you have seen how horrible my luck is uh, we did get to see a loading bar at the bottom before this uh, ox presented to us to touch. So the loading bar is the hint that there is some new episode plates that I have not obtained before will appear in this pool. So hopefully it belongs to Kaname's brand new plate. So only 3 Valkyries stating the kind of rarity I might uh, encounter. So 2 red boxes. There is still a chance that, you know, they might evolve. Oh, not too bad. We get some costume points for Kaname's costume. Okay, so the red box did not evolve. That's kind of a bummer, but duplicates are pretty okay in Utamekos because we need the luck value. And of course, duplicate plate means costume points uh, nonetheless. So that's still pretty okay. You know, not like some other mobile games out there where getting duplicates is kind of harsh. So, wow, lots of uh, pictorial plates with costume points for Kanami's gorgeous costume. So that's pretty sweet. So no evolution for this one either. Wow! So both red boxes all belong to SDF Lacrosse. Um, I'm okay with it because I have quite a bit of duplicates on those two episode plates as you can tell. So the blue one has like 11 luck on it now and the pink one has 12. So still no way reaching the plus 20 luck value which is currently the highest luck value you can get from free episode plates. So eventually it will get there gradually. So we do get a brand new uh, rarity for Kaname's um, pictorial exclusive episode plate. Um, the previous one that I got is probably of a lower rarity that only gave me maybe about 5 costume points and that's it. So anyway guys, this is it for Kaname's episode plate gacha. What I think of it, definitely worth your singing stones if you can afford to purchase singing stones. Uh, but do guys do take note, uh, Uta Macross or rather Dana has updated the Uta Macross Twitter um, a few days ago saying that the singing stone packages will increase in price due to the new Japanese tax law. So if you guys uh, players of the game who do cash in maybe not like whales but like me gradually paying or affording seeing stones based off your monthly salary or capabilities in finances you know when you have spare money to do so uh, yeah take note of the change of prices um, because it's gonna get a bit more expensive I wouldn't say it will be a huge jump in price but in the long run it's definitely gonna hurt uh, in terms of total amount spent on the game uh, I've been playing this game for over two years since its start and I've literally thrown I think about almost two thousand to three thousand dollars sing Singapore dollars uh, if you count it as US dollars maybe it's close to two thousand yeah so <laughs> that's a lot of money so anyway guys um if you guys are following me on uh, my cross space time day culture or um, my facebook youtube page you definitely know i've been updating uta my cross content there constantly and of course you will know about this brand new gacha that was released yesterday night after the end of Makutoma, which is the broadcast show um, that happens bi-weekly, uh, bi-monthly. Um, Macross Gatoma Ranai is the full title of the show. Makutoma is the short form. And this is a Makutoma exclusive gacha. Alright, it was released after 
after the broadcast because it was not announced in the October lineup for Uta Macross uh, on the Uta Macross official Japanese wiki. This gacha, alright, is surprisingly discounted for its first step. The second step is the standard 500 singing stone pools. But the episode plates they feature, the two episode plates here, alright, they both have something similar. So as you can tell, Reina has a music note here. Freya doesn't, so Reina's is definitely the plate to look out for. But both episode plates are live skill support. So if you take note here, so Reina's episode plate definitely has the better skills. Total score 3799, uh, which it puts it into tier 1 straight away because 3008 is definitely the highest we've seen. 3799 is close to it with the extra special note at the end of it is definitely something you want uh, to have in your arsenal you know but of course Reina is another blue element plate so <laughs> my my blue element set is definitely getting more powerful and more powerful <laughs> uh, so yeah so the other thing you want to take note of is of course the costumes that the episode plates provide and of course if you have not unlocked them before you might want to consider pulling this gacha as well uh, alongside maybe because this episode plate are pretty awesome in terms of uh, life skills support so yeah pretty fantastic stuff i think i don't have freya's school uniform unlocked so that's one of the reasons why i want to do this pool at the same time it's because it's discounted and uh, if you guys don't know or uh, if you guys have already purchased the special discounted singing stone packs that Uta Macross has already released for about I think three to four days now, uh, I've already bought both of these discounted special packs. That's why I have singing stones to do this gacha video. <laughs> Initially, I couldn't do uh, Kaname's gorgeous gacha because I didn't have enough singing stones to do the pool. So finally, my pay is in. Let's do some gacha videos, guys. <laughs> so thank you guys for your support as always. As you can tell, all these videos are done through my heart and money. I, I, I love the support that you guys give by watching these videos that I make. And of course, commenting down below, sharing your experiences with me and of course with the fans who also watch my content. You know, to build this community up within Uta Macross. And of course, Pokemon Masters if you're into it. So, because I that's what I'm actually doing now as well. Pokemon Masters. Uh, it is a very challenging game. Alright, it can be played free to play. If you guys are interested, do give Pokemon Masters a try. Of course, I will be doing tutorial videos and all this for, for Pokemon Masters as well because I am... A Pokemon fan as well aside from a Macross fan so yeah so let's dive down into this template pool 300 singing stones hopefully I get very nice episode plate uh, Freya's is definitely welcome as well there we go we get some loading bar so that's a good sign kind of hopefully <laughs> okay let's do this one two three oh we do get a golden orb. One on the first blink. Oh, we get two! Good. Why couldn't I have this luck in Kaname's gacha? <laughs> okay, so common plates, let's skip. Isamu gives the thumbs up for approval. Hopefully, I get Reina's episode plate. Oh, we get Freya's. Not too bad. Loving the pre evolved image. Very, very nice. Alright, skipping more comments. <laughs> Lame. Alright, here's the second rainbow box. Oh! We get me lanes. And it's one of our powerful episode plates. Ah! <laughs> okay. So, no evolution on that box. Okay, I think I got this recently evolved. So that's not too bad. Oh! Hey! Okay, so I did not get 
Whoa! Nice! <laughs> wow! So this this Gachapu is pretty awesome considering that it evolved both 5 star episode plates. You know, even though Freya's episode plate is probably not the best pink element episode plate out there in terms of stats, but it's still definitely a tier 2 episode plate. You know, considering that it has a decent stat for total score, and a pretty good life skill support, no special note attached to it, so it's definitely a tier 2. So definitely a good episode plate to add to my pink color collection. Of course, uh, Milane's episode plate is always welcome as well. Um, it is not fully powered up right now, but it is definitely one of Milane's better episode plates out there. You know, considering it has a score repeat life skill, it's meant to be used for a long duration yellow songs. And of course, no special notes attached to it, which is fine. I am actually lacking in power, and you know, from episode plates from both of these colors that I just got. So it's actually a very good gacha pool in my sense, because I definitely need these episode plates in my arsenal right now to probably uh, help me get that 3 million score for both colors you know because right now my blue is just dominating in terms of episode plate strength so guys uh i have no words to say about this particular <laughs> pool but i just wish that that luck could have been with kaname's gorgeous episode plate but oh ah well it is still a blessing nonetheless so thank you guys for watching Thank you for watching through to this video if you reached to this point. Leave a like to this video if you enjoyed the content or maybe you appreciate the content that I do as always. You know, of all the information that I've translated and shared with you guys, my opinions on the episode plates itself. Maybe because of my opinions and of course the translations that I do, you can have an easier time in terms of choosing uh, to pull a gacha if they ever return because you missed out on those episode plates in the past when they first launched in their own special um, gacha. So yeah guys, thank you once again. As always, do the wonderful wonderful stuff to help me out and of course share the love of Utah Cross to all your friends. And of course, not forgetting subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys soon in another pokemon masters video which is tomorrow because hey hilda is coming to pokemon masters if you guys don't know who hilda is she is the female protagonist for pokemon black and white so that's pretty exciting we're gonna see whether hilda and her topic is going to be an excellent trainer to be added to your collection of trainers. <laughs> I don't know. The Pokemon Masters is just that kind of game. You collect people instead of Pokemon. I don't know. It shouldn't be Pokemon Masters. It should be Pokemon Trainer Masters. I I, I, I don't know. The game just confuses me. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.